Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. We have a Kremlin, and a whole lot of other stuff. Mr. Legend Gamer and his mod, Heating Pipes HD. Okay, so this is... What we are talking about, this is heating pipes. He also has an oil pipes. So I'm not going to demonstrate them because I didn't install them. Um, I didn't set them up yet. I just wanted to compare them. You cannot see the old heating pipes after you do this. You only have the new ones, but they are amazing. Be careful when you're installing them. Back up your files. You have the explanation in the description. So, English. You have in Russian, but also English. Do you uh, do you have a powerful computer, but are forced to use standard low poly heating pipes? I have a solution for you. These are new HD pipes. He sounds like a salesman. <laughs> do the fact that the pipe um, section is now half the length, um, the turns are smoother. The pipes now also have an inner surface. Um, the number of segments in the section is 4 more than the original one, 24 versus 20, due to which the pipes look even more round. New texture that is um, closest to reality. P.S. After installing a mod, all pipes will become intermittent. Just break a piece of this pipe and the rest will update itself. Okay, I have a... So, Let's start. First of all, they look magnificent. I'm gonna be using this. I have an okay computer. I don't have a magnificent computer, but I think I can easily run these things. And they look amazing. I will be using that. I'll probably switch soon to oil pipelines as well. So this is perfect. This is really, really amazing. Okay, so what else did he say? Yeah, much more polys, much more everything, much more details. But that's basically it. That's all you need to know. Okay, uh, compared to the old ones, uh, I have oil pipelines because you replace these skins, you cannot build the old ones anymore. You can only use the new ones, so I cannot show you how the old ones look, but I can show you how old uh, oil pipelines look. You can see how they're kind of like, have these lines on it, and it's really low detailed. This is similar to what heating pipes were, and now it's totally different. So this is, and I built these ones, but they're also vanilla, but they're pretty good, I have to say, these um, steam, steam for nuclear cooling towers, whatever. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's first thing, Mr. Legend Gamer, description of the, of the mod in the description of the video. Comrade Joe, II-68 series. Finally, uh, <laughs> much expected... Oh, everybody's a salesman these days. Finally, much expected uh, II-68 or P-68 uh, series... P in Cyrillic. Uh, is arrived to the game. The mod uh, borrows some bits and textures from Comrade Lazars and Costas and Nixix. A couple of variants of uh, are in the ropes. Main unit houses 176 adults. Quality is 94%. This is my first mod with LODs, so it should not burn in your computer too much if you build lots of them. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a new building. I was actually following a lot of um, following up on a lot of these buildings. You can see there are three different models at the moment. This is one building. These are these two are separate. Obviously, the color scheme is different. But uh, yes. So anyway, you can find them in the mod section. Uh, you can find them in your residential area. For me, it's, they're going to be all the way in the end because these are the last ones I installed. So the big building has 360, 352 number of um, uh, people living there. It's twice as much as the vanilla one. But pretty much that's a self-explanatory. So they're just two buildings combined. And yeah, this looks really, really good. I'm definitely going to be using those. Description for more details. Mr. Novu trucks again. Mr. Novu aluminum or aluminum mechanical parts. Manufacture lightweight mechanical components for aluminum. Employs 100 workers and feature a railroad connection. Okay, so this one I'm pretty sure because I use them from a different selection. Uh, probably we can find it somewhere around here. Let me just check it. Uh, right, right, right. Here we go. Aluminium mechanical power components. It's the one over here. It, uh, it's 41,000. This is not expensive. Also, it requires 10 tons of aluminium or aluminum and gives you 10 tons of mechanical components. 40 tons input, 50 tons output of the parts. So, this is something different. Is it worth it? No. 
Is it a good thing? Yes. It gives you a variety of options how you can uh, build your mechanical components. If you're already producing aluminium or aluminum, uh, you can just use that to build a car. Um, it's realistic because not all parts are made of steel. It's some some parts, mechanical components are made of uh, aluminium as well. And this is a little bit more expensive than make parts from the steel, from steel, but um, definitely uh, I will be using this because it's different. It gives a variety even though it's more expensive. Uh, description and the link to the mod in the description of this video. Pigeon Fall by Gorbachev. 27 story residential complex Pigeon Fall. A uh, similar building was built in the center of Vladivostok city, built for one, two, 201, 212 apartments for 424 workers. The project was created through the standard building editor using prefab apartments element textures from 3 division. Yes, so again, this means that it's not gonna burden your PC if you're building more of them. This is a big one. This is a big building and I like it, especially for dense, densely and big populated cities. This is something that uh, you should definitely have. Um, yes, 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 yes. So it can be found in the mod section in the residential area. Let's quickly just find this one. Here we go. And all the way in the end, because this is the one that I was using the last. Right, description for more details. AIG Gamer, AIG Parking Pack, AIG Parking Pack, car parks for 10, 20, 30, 40 spaces in the comment section. He also um, uh, answered the crucial question, are they passable? Can the cars pass through it or just enter from both sides? Actually, they can both pass. I have a little bit of a test running here. I have um, parking spaces over here next to these jobs. Ooh, that was loud. And I will be importing some of the people just to speed the things up to see um, how they can handle the large amount of traffic uh, entrance and exits. How many of them can enter at the same time? Do they Are they creating queues? So yeah, I'm gonna be back in a few seconds for you, just a moment. Unfortunately, we still have a little bit of an issue with queuing now. Multiple of them can go in and out, but obviously if the parking lot is a little bit further, um, they're gonna have to wait until the car got out before they can... If multiple cars want to go out, you can see that um, they have a little bit of a traffic issue, but as soon as it's cleared, like at the same direction, multiple cars can get in and out. So 40... Huh, looks like the only issue we're having here is currently. I know that a lot of them just want to pass through to go to this petrol station that we have set up over here, but uh, still queuing in front of the parking lots, it's not my favorite activity. But anyway, uh, I will be using this one as well. Going back to the classics, Mr. Rob074, small mechanical component factory based on a real building in Lublin, Poland, employs 20 workers, requires 3 tons of steel and produces one and a half ton of mechanical components per day when fully staffed. It uses more steel to produce one ton of mechanical components than the default one to compensate for its small size. Sure, sure, I don't agree with that, but uh, I definitely love uh, Mr. Robs' work because I have, I'm a sucker for um, uh, for realistic buildings and especially some one, some of them that are really nice looking like these. Um, but yeah, I have a, uh, I, I love realism, I love realistic buildings and uh, this definitely fits in that because this is a proper building that was already constructed in Soviet times and uh, yes, description of the video. One more time, Mr. Rob074. This is a clothing factory. Clothing factory based on a real building in uh, Częstochowa, Poland. I am hoping I'm pronouncing this correctly. Uh, Częstochowa, Poland. Employs 180 workers. 180 workers requires 5.4 tons of fabric and produces 2.7 tons of clothes per day when fully staffed. Okay, description of the of the factory is in a, in a, in the video. If you want to check it out now, I'm interested. I forgot. Oh, sweet lord, stop it! Um, 55.4 tons of clothing compared to the default one. Default one. Uh, let me just quickly see where are you, Scooby Doo. I just wanted to compare it. I think it's now in the food section. Livestock, livestock. Uh, ch -ch -ch food and alcohol meat no just give me a second sooner or later I'll find it and here we go so the felt one is half the size uh, well productivity of this one and uh, people wise 80 oh, prepare your ears I want to click on it oh sweet lord 180 
80 versus 180. Okay, so well, everything that usually Mr. Robots does is uh, make it a, it makes it a little bit more difficult for us. Usually, not always. So here he makes a factory that requires a little bit more resources, or some factory that employs much more people, or requires much more people to create same amount of goods as let's say vanilla in this one that would be two factories there and one of them here still i love the challenge i like those kind of things so thumbs up for me mr alexi kapustin tt4 uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna read description of this one so this is tt uh, slash four is a soviet tracks killer of a four Traction class manufactured by Altai Tractor Plant. A skitter is a special vehicle used for forestry work. Technological tasks of skitter include the collection and delivery of trees and logs from the felling felling site to the intermediate storage site, timber load or upper storage transportation, and tree logs is carried out by dragging. By the method of partial loading. Okay, so this is this is what we're talking about. So this is the vehicle here. Um, I just wanted to compare it to compare its size to let's say a bus uh, harvester and the big truck that we have over here. I'm gonna put it in the forestry. Uh, I'm gonna put it in a forestry area. Just give me a second. I'm gonna real quickly try to um, buy it through there because we should get the we should get productivity as well. Give me a second. Right, here we go. So I don't think we can get this information from the uh, vehicle purchase point if we go here and felled tree capacity and all that good stuff. Oh, we can. Okay, so it has speed level 20 uh, compared to, let's say, Urals has as well 20. 65 kilometers per hour, empty weight 7 tons, 132 kilowatts. This is specification of probably the best one we have in the game. I'm thinking. Well, actually, it's... it's yeah. No. All of them have more or less similar speed, but uh, the power of the engine would be something that I would be interested. Anyway, look. Uh, so this is the this is the vehicle. It's totally different than any other I've seen in this game. It's kind of specific for forestry work, where in other trucks like Urals or Zills, they can be converted, or you have versions for road usage. You don't have a road usage for this one. A anyway, looks fabulous, looks am amazing. Description, I will be using this one. Fine, 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 here we go. <laughs> Kremlin. Okay, uh, not even sure where this is located exactly. Uh, here we go. It's uh, <laughs> These towers are actually counted as attractions. So you have a um, couple of towers that you can see here. This is a smaller one. Uh, we have, the other one would be... Uh, as a restaurant, I would say. So let's see, hotel. Unfortunately, not. We will go to pubs. Here we go. Uh, Kremlin Tower restaurant is under pubs. You can have it. Although all of them you can find in when you show all the mods and go all the way to the end. In this case, just because I installed it just now, uh, you will find all uh, six pieces that you have here. So that will be K Kremlin Tower restaurant. That will be this one. I will let the time fly, just so you how it's being built. And you have Kremlin Gates, which also has a railroad connection to it. So yeah, you can get you can get your your peeps in here. You can actually wall off the whole country if you wish. Okay, so what did I do here? I created a little bit around wall from the different parts of the mod. Of course, it's not ideal when buildings go through each other. You can see how how they're reacting to each other but if you if you select the proper distances you can probably make this go away or uh, unfortunately we don't have a corner construction so in this case you have 12 meter wall 50 meter wall and 100 meter wall and of course i didn't read the description of the mod i'm gonna do it now this is yet another special collection item made under a request of the proletariat masses of course finally we can build historical castle uh, and the fortress and then slavomenic style and many landmark tourist towns in the workers and resources um soviet republic right so the, there's a description historical description of the wall and uh 
Right, Moscow River, all that stuff. Special thanks to Comrade Polkorp for inspiring me for the mod. He's a person uh, with virtue beyond imagine. Wow, okay. <laughs> that's that's a lot of nice words there. Also, please, uh, guys, check DPRK collection of mods. I will update it regularly. More items coming soon. Okay, so this is these are the walls. So, uh, what did I do with the walls? So, you have 50 meter one. You have... Uh, Sorry, 100 meter one, 50 meter one, and 12 meter one. I have no idea how they came to 12 meter one, but these are three sections that you can build. Of course, they don't have any. Of course, they don't have any collisions. And the shorter, shorter um, bent you make, they look a little bit more realistic than what I made here. So, for example, if we build something like this, you can probably make more or less proper round wall um, for, for for this. Unfortunately, uh, electricity cables or electricity hoses, they can't really go through the walls. And I'm pretty sure that... Uh, let me demonstrate what I wanted to say, because I already tried it, so you cannot build through the walls, even though they have no collision. Still, they prevent some things to be built. So there you go, this is something uh, of an iconic structure for Soviet Union or Soviet Republic. The Kremlin, Kremlin walls, uh, construct uh, description of the video for more details. And last but not least, people coming to the castle, my lord, it's a name of a map. Yeah, hilarious. Um, it's Pingu's Revenge. He is the mother who made this map. I think that <laughs> map was done brilliantly. Uh, it's uh, quite unusual. I'm gonna demonstrate how it looks. I'm just gonna um, read description in... You have a German description and then you have English one. So, here is the map with population. There are two larger cities. Obviously, there's a one without population as well. There are two larger cities in the west and small village in the east. Uh, the settlements are equipped differently from everything to almost nothing. Boundary facilities are unchanged from the map without population. You inherit the fortune from your uncle Modred. Yeah, funny. <laughs> uh, through it, you were able to finance your election campaign and now have become president of a small country. The predecessors were not idle and have actively tried to create residential settlements for citizens. However, they did not finish. The rest is up to you, President. You should quickly take care of the village in these because the people there do not even have electricity. I recommend buying cars. I would have already done, but I forgot which one of them are cars. Minor updates reserved. Yes, there are a couple of mods that you need to uh, subscribe if you want to play this map. Uh, some buildings and, and stuff. You, you're gonna check it out in the description. In description of the mod, uh, link is in the description of this video. So, what are we talking about? Let's see. So, this is east, and then we have... This is where we build our mods. So this is... Okay, this is weird. Um, right, which one is the east? Huh. Village in the east. I would say... Like, I know it's upside down, that you, you can see... Um, obviously, we're on the north, north hemisphere. You can see where the shadows fall. So that would be south. If that's the south, then this is east. Is this village in the east? No, this one has electricity. Anyway, uh, could, be, could it be this one, maybe? Nope, this is just border crossing. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Okay, so there, uh, the whole map consists of two plateaus. One and the second one here. They're more or less f not really flat, but flat-ish grounds where you can develop. Um, also, resources-wise. Coal. Coal, usually on the coastline, a little bit on, on the much side. Um, you can, you see here, it's just outside of your map, so forget about it. Um, also iron, just as out, it's out, outside of your map, so forget about it. And it's sparsely, um, sparsely located in your country. Oil, mostly outside of your country, but <laughs> there's some over here that you can use. And of course, uh, uranium ore is mostly outside of your country and you can't really get to it. Uh, bauxite, the same. So look at the central part. You can go and check out some of these. For example, this is, um, let's see, uranium ore. So we have mountains over here. Let's see how much uranium do we actually have here. If we go to energy related buildings and we go and try to build uranium mine, it's an F all. So, pretty low, pretty low. And, um, yeah, there's some uranium in these mountains, but uh, it's gonna be a pain in the rear end to get it out. 
Yeah, uh, it's gonna be challenging, definitely challenging, but I can see here a couple of nice locations for it, uranium mine without a lot of um, uh, terraforming needs needed to be done, so it's pretty... Ooh, there's a village here. Yes, 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 Siegberg. Yeah, I already checked this one out. It's actually really nice. Um, right, so uh, why why this map? Why did I choose this map to review? Uh, because it's beautiful. It's made absolutely amazing. Two churches next to each other. This one looks like an orthodox one and this one looks like whatever. Um, we have a road connecting this little village all the way to this big... Um, two towers. Is that something from Lord of the Rings? No, from... from Game of Thrones, so you have two, two huge bridge uh, spanning over this river, which probably you would want to get some ships on because it's pretty big. Really beautiful intersection over here. Uh, and then we have on the other side of the river, we have uh, Bersling, a nice town with most of the stuff that you need already uh, set up in here. So you have some shops, you have bus stops, you have petrol stations. Let me see if it's well connected. It's well connected indeed, uh, even to most of the houses over here. Look look at the details, look at this. And this is not even the best part of, of this. Um, of this. this just gives you so many, at least to me, it gives me so many ideas and what I can do with my own map. This is just really, really inspiring map and I really, really like it. I think you guys should check it out and uh, maybe get some hints how to, you know, do stuff. At least it's going to help be helping... It's gonna help me a lot. Yeah, you can see that um, some of the things built here are doesn't they don't really have logical reason why they're there, but they're just there and they look really amazing. So some of the residential buildings are not really that old, so they're pretty nice looking. And of course, you have some um, beach bars and other stuff around here for if you want to start with your tourism. Uh, car salesman as well, you have it here, and this is one of the things that you had to uh, install if you want this map to work properly, like these playgrounds over here, as you can see, for obviously kids. Alright, this is counted as a kindergarten, that's an interesting, where do they sleep, in a ship? Hmm, that's really cool, actually. Uh, yes, um, this is the... Okay, good, let's step back towards the heating. This is what happens to your heating infrastructure uh, if you don't update. Uh, when you update, when you create this new... Um, when you have new skins, new new look of your heating uh, pipeline. So this is what happens and you have to fix that. Or if you build new ones, they're going to definitely uh, be resolved. Anyway, uh, look at this. Look at this park here. Huh? What say you? <laughs> Looks magnificent. Looks really nice. Uh, definitely really, really inspiring thing over here. You have a harbor that is connected through the tunnel uh, to the outside world. You have city. It's divided kind of into two parts. I don't see that it's really well connected from one side to the other. But again, cars. Uh, they use cars. You have some oil infrastructure over here. Uh, pumping stations. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the whole shebang. So this is the map. Usually, it's uh, most of the towns are concentrated on the north side, south axle. This is north. This is south. And you have a big, two big crossings, border crossings. Uh, on this side would be this one. Um, it's kind of double crossing with a lot of railroads connected to it. And the one is on the all the way the opposite side over here. You have a couple of smaller ones as well, but uh, these are the biggest ones. You can again see military bases and some infrastructure here. I bet that this is a airport control tower. Indeed it is. Uh, but it, acts, it looks like a military base, definitely. Okay, that's it. Uh, check it out. Description. And uh, that's all. I hope you enjoyed this one. Which is your favorite? My favorite is... I think the the tree harvester here, the the one that is going to help us in the forestry, or Mr. Novus. Uh, aluminium mechanical components which brings additional level of realism in the game. Anyway, like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. See you in the next one. Bye bye. By the way, one last thing, if you want to fix these pipes, just cut them anywhere and they're going to fix themselves. I'm gonna, of course, you're going to have to reconnect them, but uh, that's a small price to pay to have a beautiful high definition heating pipes. Anyway, that's it. Bye.